Guys, this video is going to be an introduction to Mestastic, one of the first videos on Meshtastic on our channel. If you are into FPV drones and Betaflight open source firmware projects, uh, other open source firmware projects that we've been into, uh, and currently are things like OpenTX, EdgeTX, and ELRS communication systems for FPV drone radios. So if you're watching this video and you're a drone guy, you're probably gonna love this because I know most of you guys are tinkerers. A lot of you guys have 3D printers. These devices are pretty neat because they are open source firmware on here. They're relatively cheap. They start out on Amazon for about $25 for uh, something like a Helltech. They run on ESP32, which does consume a little more power than the newer ones. They have some newer chip versions as well. These have little screens. The T-Beam that I have here has Meshtastic firmware on here. And what it does is it works from device to device. And once you power up a device, it becomes its own node in a mesh network situation around your town uh, or around the country, depending on how far out we have uh, node antennas. If you want to extend the range on this, you can build a node antenna on top of your house or your shed and you can really blast out there. They also run on 915 megahertz, which is really cool. So I had a couple of these 915 antennas laying around. I'll show you some links to Amazon where you can grab either of these type of devices, some 915 antennas. If you're in the US, that's what we use, which is relatively familiar. Uh, if you've been using Crossfire or ELRS, you know about 915 megahertz. So this one right here is on right now. It is networking and in the mesh on Mestastic, and I can see other people already on here. Um, and it's so neat because it runs off a 1S 2000 milliamp battery. I 3D printed a case for it, uh, flashed up the firmware with the web flasher. It's very similar uh, to Betaflight and, and all that type of uh, equations for going into uh, an open source project chipset. So it's, it's really neat. So we're going to show you today how to web flash. I'm going to show you how these devices communicate between each other. This one runs on an 18650 battery, which I also find super cool. And this one is expandable. It also has expandable memory. It has a keyboard on there. And the main difference between, say, like the LilyGo T-Deck that I have right here, this is probably the most sought after one. You can get it for $40 to $50. Uh, I would suggest upgrading the antenna because a little stick antenna that comes with it is just not that great. But the way these work is they run through the mesh network, bouncing from one node to the next. And depending on how many nodes are in your town, you can get all the way across town or some people have gotten hundreds of miles with these devices. Now this one works standalone and that's why so many people want this one is because it has its own little keyboard uh, it has its own little trackball on here similar to the blackberry an on off switch USB C port in the very bottom. It also runs Bluetooth and this one works without a phone. Uh, that's the coolest thing about this one, and it's encrypted. So when you send a message over 915 uh, across the airwaves, it's different than going across the internet. And a lot of people don't want to use their phone these days because, hey, who wants to be tracked even further? All the messages that you type on here are probably logged into uh, a server in Utah somewhere. This one right here is the T-Beam and the T-Beam does have Bluetooth on here. It has a GPS module for triangulation and position accuracy. Uh, and this one has the upgraded 915 antenna on this one. This one's probably about $30 to $40 for one of these. They're very sought after. And you're gonna get one of the low button 18650s. Goes right in the back and people love this one. It connects to the Meshtastic app on the iOS or Android phones. Uh, but you will have to use your phone with that model. This one, it's so cool because you can drive around town with either one of these. Uh, and I, I just love this one because it, it's standalone. It doesn't use a phone. You don't have to do it through their app. And this one is completely encrypted communication over a mesh network, uh, decentralized communication. Very, very cool. Peer-to-peer -peer communication. Let's go ahead now and let's check this out on the desk. And uh, I'll show you the T-Beam and the T-Deck and how they operate. So this is my T-Dex from LilyGo. If I open this up, this is just exactly how it came in the case. You take this out and I love this because it also came with uh, a little cable that plugs into the back of this JST connector right here. You guys are probably familiar with these. These are the first original PH 1.0 connectors that we used on Tiny Whoops probably 
almost 10 years ago now. Uh, I still had some of these batteries laying around. And I actually plugged one into this port to try and see if I could power up my uh, T-Deck with it. It would not power up because those batteries are so old. Uh, but we also have some other stuff around the back of this board. We have an SD card slot right here for expansion, memory expansion, that's kind of cool, just like a cell phone. Uh, we also have a GPS harness up here at the very top. You can see RX, TX, VCC, and ground right there. And you know, I, I'm not sure what the voltage limit on that is, but you may be able to find a harness that will fit this one did not come in the kit, um, but my T deck or my T beam did come with a GPS on the top. And you see it's about half of the size of one of the drone GPSs, which is uh, kind of cool. So it has its own positioning already built into it. You also have the option to turn off positioning if you want to be completely anonymous, which is also kind of cool uh, for people that just don't want to show up in the mesh network uh, on online. Now there is also a cable for your antenna that's included. There's a UFL connector right here, which most of you guys are already familiar with. I screw this into the top of my 3D printed case and my 1S 2000 milliamp battery fits right in there. So this is a 1S 2000. I'm gonna charge that as a 1S battery on my charger. And it actually fits pretty well into this space right here. So I try to find one of these. Um, it's kind of almost like a cell phone type of battery. I put a little, uh, JST on here and once we plug that in I will have power but just like some of the VTX's you never want to turn this device on unless you have the antenna plugged into the UFL connector and the antenna plugged into uh, the extension right here so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in uh, so this antenna screws right on the top my SMA connector right there you guys are familiar with those as well so that screws on it has the on off button on this side right here. So I'm gonna press that, press that down. And at first I thought mine was, something was wrong with it. It wasn't coming on right away. Uh, and what I realized is that I have to actually let it sit for a second and then it starts to load up. Now mine did not come flashed with Mestastic on there. So I had to use the web flasher, select my device and then flash it just like I would a flight controller. So that was kind of neat. Once I flashed it, I restarted the device and bam, there's Mesh-tastic working. And I was already getting people uh, coming up in the network. So this is pretty cool because if you look at the top of this screen right here, it says Mesh-tastic C538. That's another device. Uh, I believe it might've been mine. So it remembers devices once you connect with one. That might've been my, my T-beam sitting over there. We have uh, Captain John Price there. He's another user. And you don't have to put your real name on here. You can use a node network name series of numbers or whatever you want to put. Um, some people have their business name on there. So uh, I even saw there's one sitting on the eBay windowsill somewhere they have at work. Uh, so Nansen, we have the signal there, shows kilometers and how long ago it connected. And right now it's, uh, you know, right around 50% strength on KD PDX, which is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and say copy question mark. So we're going to push symbol and then question mark and that will bring up the symbol. So now all you do is press the return key and it's sending out to someone. We'll see if we get a message back. If you get a message back, like I got a message back yesterday from somebody that said copy, copy, and they let me know that they didn't in fact receive the message. And now sometimes what happens is if you scroll too fast, look at that, it resets. Um, so I've had this kind of bug with my Mesh-tastic device, but they're constantly coming out with new firmware updates. Now what's cool is, let me show you how devices communicate and I'll show you what it looks like when you get a message. Now 2.22 is on here and Bluetooth's active and look how quickly it connected to the app on the phone. Um, and again, this is the one you need to use uh, your phone with. So if I wanna send a message out to another device. So I'm just gonna scooch this over and I'm gonna bring in my friend, the T-Deck here. So this one's called Meshi 7428 and this one's C538. Um, so you can see on the screen right here, it actually shows that we are uh, connected currently to Meshi 7428. Um, and this is so cool. So uh, when I go back to my messages, the primary channel right here, and hopefully I didn't send I love you out to uh, other people, but I did send that to Rebecca when we were playing around with this yesterday. So um, in this equation right here, I'm just going to go ahead and see if it's connected. Uh, I'm going to type testing. 
mesh tastic. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and send. Okay, so it it went through that quick. So you can see on the screen here, we're getting some uh, alarm that something came through. And right now it says on this device, testing mass tastic. So um, I'm not sure how to turn off the alarm. And I tried scrolling yesterday to see if it would do that, but it tends to want to beep as long as it wants to beep, uh, in which may be around 20 seconds, just in case you're walking around the house and you miss a message. But how cool is that? This is encrypted, uh, you know, encrypted by the folks that make the Mesh Tastic firmware. Um, they do come up with updates almost like once a week, so it is a pretty active project as well. And baby, that thing is still beeping. And we can scroll back through here and we can see again three minutes ago from testing Mestastic from C538. So if we go back out, you can see that you know my device here is C538. Uh, and you can change the name of these devices anytime you want. If you go into the settings in the app, there are so many different settings in here. Um, they're going to also make this so that you can update the firmware inside the app very soon, hopefully, in the app um, and through devices like the T-Beam and probably the T-Deck. These are the most popular ones right now. Now, I want to show you how the configurator works. So if you want to go to client.mestastic.org or just do a Google search for Mestastic configurator, it will come up with this site. And you can use the serial port on the bottom right here to connect to the device, or you can use Bluetooth. Right now, it sees this one right here, so we're going to connect to that one. Uh, number one there and now we're connected to the device through the configurator so here if you if you get one of these and it's brand new and you need to configure it the first thing you need to do is you need to go and select uh, in the configuration what country you're broadcasting in so we're in the US so I'm running on 915 and I once I activated that inside the configurator then my device was working but before that I wasn't able to see anybody on the mesh network so um, one important thing to to know there so the next the next big thing that you guys need to know about is that if you get your device there is this as well the online flasher right now i had my t-deck flashed um, and i flashed it with the current version 2.24 and there's also alpha versions if you want those are like the experimental nightly builds and then once you connect the the cable here um, you can say flash but this is a t-beam so i wouldn't flash it with t-deck you'd want to select what device it is. And again, there's a ton of different devices. There's Helltech uh, wireless paper. There's uh, Helltech stick light. I mean, look at all these different types of devices. Tons of them. RAK is very popular. Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, some of you guys may already have those. T-Beam, the T-Deck, the T-Echo. Uh, and, and a lot of these LilyGo devices are probably the most popular out there in the Mesh-tastic uh, community. But that's pretty much it as far as our introduction into Mestastic. If you find this interesting, you can check out our links down below to the T-Deck, which I absolutely love because of this uh, keyboard that it has. Uh, and it's just easy to work with. It's like a little miniature Blackberry. It is super simple once you get it set up and, and going. And I think the funnest thing about this is like actually putting it on the dashboard of my car. And when I'm driving around town, it gives me a little something extra to do. I just pick it up and I, I scroll through uh, and see how many people and new places that I can connect with uh, when I drive around certain parts of town. It's just, it's pretty neat. Uh, out in the rural areas, you know, you're probably gonna need to set up some kind of uh, solar, powered uh, antenna on your roof. There are tutorials about that as well. And it's just one more thing that you can do kind of, uh, I, I'd say on the cheap, um, just something to play around with and something else to conquer out there. If you have one of the minds like uh, we have here on the channel, if you're a tinkerer, this is really a lot of fun. So uh, I have some other friends that are setting up some Mesh-tastic devices and we're gonna see how far across town we can get um, with our off-grid decentralized mesh network messaging. Uh, pretty cool. So that's Mesh-tastic in a nutshell. If you did enjoy this video, please definitely use our links down below. And uh, yeah, have some fun with Mesh-tastic. Uh, please do subscribe on the channel, guys, and I will definitely see you on the next one.